Listopad, November. The month of Listopad takes its name from a combination of two old Slavic words, which, in modern Polish, can be understood as lisch, or leaf, and padach, the verb meaning to fall. And as you can see all around you in Poland, we are now in the thick of autumn. And for many, this is the most spectacular time of the year. With a chill in the air and a vibrant surround of brilliantly coloured leaves, Listopad is at the heart of what is known as Złota Polska Jesień, or Golden Polish Autumn in English. For all the ladies out there who enjoy a golden walk in the park, or even curling up with a book and a mug of pumpkin spiced latte, guess what? There's a word for people like you. Jesieniare. There's a term for the autumn lads as well. Jesieniarze. A slight difference. In grand contrast to Pazjernik, or October, Listopad is quite a happening month. Things kick off immediately with Gen Wyszyskich Świętych, or All Saints Day in English. On the first of the month, a public holiday, where family and friends visit the gravesides of deceased loved ones and light a candle in memoriam. This practice is actually meant for the following day, Gen Zadushna, or All Souls Day in English. Though because it's not a public holiday, the earlier date is taken advantage of instead. If you're interested in learning more about this Polish tradition, you can watch our video Saints and Souls, link in the description. Up next in Listopad is one of Poland's most important celebrations and public holidays. In many countries, November the 11th is Armistice Day, commemorating the end of World War I. This also marked the end of 123 years of Poland being occupied by its neighbouring powers. For this reason, the 11th day of Listopad is Polish Independence Day, and depending on your political persuasion, is celebrated in different ways across the country. The 11th day of Listopad is also Gen Świętego Marcina, or Saint Martin's Day, who is also the patron saint of the city of Poznań. In pre-Christian times, harvest celebrations involved the production of rolled dough in the shape of ox horns. Later, the Catholic Church chose to reinterpret the horned bread as the horseshoe of St. Martin's trusted mount. This has evolved into a uniquely Poznanian specialty, Rogal Święto Marczynski, or St. Martin's Croissant, which has a white poppy seed filling and is iced with nuts. The regionally protected recipe for Rogala Święto Marczynskie are produced specially for the 11th day of Listopad. So if you're visiting Poznań at this time, you can catch the St. Martin's Day Parade and drop in at a bakery to grab a croissant. Last but not least, Listopad ends with St. Andrew's Day, or Andrzejki in Polish. What is the national day in Scotland and an important public holiday in Romania has ruminated into a fairly bizarre tradition of fortune telling in Poland. Young Polish women use Andrzejki as an opportunity to find out who they'll be married to. And how is this done? By passing hot wax through the eye of a skeleton key and into a bowl of cold water. Once cooled, the resulting form is then held in front of a light and the shadow cast reveals either visual clues or the likeness of the future husband. So in this situation, he may either be a horse-bound knight or have a head shaped like this. Isn't he handsome? So what does your listopad look like? Are you a yesenyara or a yesenyaj? Are you into fortune telling involving wax? And was the wax forthcoming on its predictions? Leave a comment below, and while you're at it, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just don't forget to click the bell for notifications. And you can join the In Your Pocket community on Instagram and Facebook. We look forward to seeing you again next month. Do zobaczenia!